Danny, what's up, brother? What's up? How you not doing, man? much. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, Good yeah. to see you again, brother. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, what's been happening, man? Have you been recently? Um, I've been good, man. I, I can't complain. I, um... Fuck, what have I been up to? <laughs> Playing games? I'm fucking 40, yeah, I mean, I'm 45 now. So I mean, I, absolutely nothing, honestly. <laughs> nothing. nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Absolutely nothing? Well, I like to, uh, you know, lay in a corner naked sometimes. Yeah, I do a little cutting. Cutting? While I'm jerking. I like to jerk off of my own blood. Honestly. Really? It kind of gets me off. So it's like I'm crying and it's all in the shower, so don't even worry about it. It's all good. It's everything. It's clean. Huh. Yeah. Well, at least you're so clean when, it. If you're asking what I'm, what I'm, what I'm up to, that's, that's exactly what I'm up to these days. Damn, I mean, like, huh. <laughs> That's, I know how to party, right? Fuck yeah. <laughs> you know what I've been doing? I've been playing fucking, I've never played a Final Fantasy game. Mm -hmm. And I just started with Final Fantasy VII. I don't know if any of you guys ever played that shit. I was digging it, but now I'm like all confused. I can't figure out the materia shit, and I'm getting my ass whooped. So now I have to like kind of go back maybe and start over. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta figure it out or look up some YouTube videos or something. So yeah, nothing exciting, man. With Terminator Dark Fate, sorry, I have to remind you of that again. Yeah, yeah. But like, just fine. disrespectfully fucking shot you. No. Not even of dying? When you were there doing it, you know, like, um, you know, on the day, you know, you did the day of CGI work and stuff. All of the characters, Linda Arnold and Eddie, all did facial capture. So the CG model of the young version of them is driven by them performing the, the various expressions. So they came in and did a day of facial capture. In Eddie's case, it was just for this. In Linda and Arnold's, it was for this and so much more. And then it's a body double. Like, you know, of course, you're, you know, you're very, you know, like, nice about what you said about, like, you know, like, you know, I appreciate that they asked me back, you know, like, even though it was just a small part, you know, it still means something. But at the same time, though, like, were you, like, when you were there, were you at all, like, you know, like, really, this is it, you know? Like, you're just going to shoot me at the very beginning? Understood. I mean, because that was right when I first got sober, so I understood sort of what my life, uh, my life decisions have brought me to at that point. So I mean, and I really wasn't in a in a place when they were making that that I could have done that. I mean, I was I was busy doing a lot of uh, heroin. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? So I was like, personally, I thought this is not going to go over well. I, I kind of figured, like, you know, like, I was like... Like, not with, like, with the fan base? With the fan base, because, yeah, I yeah. mean, because I knew that Terminator 2 is such a big, you know, thing, and, and when they said when they said I was in it, and, like, people came up and were like, oh, my God, I'm so glad you're in the movie, I was like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was kind of like after all the different John Connors that have played it, and I, I messed up, like, I, I, I kind of brought, you know, got back sort of, like, what I felt like was rightfully mine, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. It was, it was nostalgic, you know. I mean, would I have loved it if, like, I got to be in the new, you know, Terminator and, and did the whole movie and made more money than I did and, and uh, you know, probably still make, making money? Yeah, I would love that. That would be awesome. That would be really awesome. But. And, like, to be honest with you, man, like... The only reason why that movie made the little money that it did is because the fans knew that you were coming back. 
Yeah. So like that's the only reason why a lot of people want not a lot you know like the you know why people want to see it because you're the character we I've obviously Arnold and Linda are cool but it's like you're the character we all love the most I think you know right Honestly. yeah no I knew it was gonna be um, I, I I had a feeling that it was gonna be um, it, it was it was gonna piss people off people are so invested in that character by the yeah. end of the movie it's like you know and a lot of people my age grew up with that character and everything so. You know, I was kind of like, oh my god, you're going to blast him with a shotgun, a 13, 14-year-old kid. I mean, <laughs> all right, that could be, all right. I mean, but, but it's so weird, because the scene is, like, great and bad at the same time. Because, you know, with the de-aging, and it's so well shot. Yeah. You're just like, this is, like, amazing. But it's just what's going on. It's just like, what are you doing, you know? Yeah. So, you know, you said before that, you know, that, you know, you're on the uh, Johnny Depp uh, side of things, where, like, you don't like to watch your own movies. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but... Like, is it the kind of thing to where you've just never watched him? Or, like, is it the kind of thing to where, like, like for example, Willem Dafoe has said that, you know, he just watches them once when they first come out and see how they come out, then never again. Like, have you seen them, like, like once and then never again, or have you never seen them? No, I'll see them once. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, you know, I'm always curious to see how it turned out. But it's usually kind of, like... It's like a little grueling to watch it. And then sometimes, you know, like it'll pop up on TV and I'll just kind of get on it for like, you know, 10 minutes. And then I'm like, you know, fuck, this is, this is terrible. I don't know why I'm watching this. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not against that all the way. Like, you know, I'm not crazy. But, you know, I, um, yeah, I'll go see it, like, you know, when they have a screening or whatever. Gotcha. You know. And gotcha. I, I remember seeing, like, interviews. Like, you made it seem like that you've, like, never seen I thought, damn, like, you must have never seen him then. No, no, no. But, um, I've, I've seen, I, there's a lot I haven't seen. <laughs> so I guess you've it depends seen, on the movie. You've seen This Is Not a Movie, though, right? I've seen it. Oh, because there's a lot of, like, crazy editing in that. Like, yeah, yeah. I love that. You guys should check that one out if you haven't seen it. It's freaking yeah. badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, I, I, yeah, I was really, you know, and I, I was pretty impressed with it. I mean, I, I, when I saw that, I brought a couple friends of mine, and we went to go see it, you know, the screening. And, uh, yeah, no, it's it uh, it really cool. It, you know, like, I don't know. It's kind of retarded that, like, I guess I can't use that word anymore, huh? It's just weird. Like, imagine, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you, you made your own movie, right? Yeah. Do you sit home with your movie and be like... <laughs> Literally, dude. Malachi, isn't that what I did when we were all watching it, like with our family? Just sitting there jerking off? If I was trying to say anything, you'd be like, oh, show, show the one I watch this, you gotta see this. Like, I'm like, you gotta see this part, dude. This is the best fucking part. <laughs> hey, Mom, hold on, wait. <laughs> ah, yeah, this is... <laughs> Check this out. Malachi, Look get off your fucking phone, camera. camera. <laughs> 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 Oh, God. <laughs> Everyone's looking like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and he's jerking off? What the hell? <laughs> oh, so that's, man. Oh, that's man. something they'll probably never see again. Edward Furlong jerking oh, off. <laughs> but, um, so, like... I couldn't deal with all the fame if I really did that shit, you know? Yeah. I, I couldn't do it, you know? It'd be too much. They'd be just like, no one would leave me alone, ever. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, everyone, like... Yeah. In the world will come like shit. I have to see this. Edward Furlong <laughs> jerking off with Detroit Rock City. Like when when you first saw the movie, like around the time it first came out, you know, it's like the. Um, can I have a hit of that? Yeah. When you first saw the movie, um, you know, of course, like with the the editing style of that movie, you know, is like a lot of what makes it what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, just like a great energy. You know, all the, all the way throughout. So like uh, when you first saw the movie, like did you know that it was gonna have that like punch? You know, like with the editing, you know, that, or, or, or like, was that kind of a surprise to you when you first saw, like, holy shit, you well, know? I remember they were doing some pretty cool shots with the cinematography and everything. And the first time I saw that movie, I got to admit, they sent me a copy that I watched at home and I was alone and I put it on and I made it about halfway through and I'm like, this is it. My fucking career's over. What, what do you mean? I was like, oh, dude, this is horrible. This is awful. Did you, really? I, I thought like it, I was you thought so. It was horrible? I thought I was so bad. Whatever. You know what? I don't know. I never really did that many comedies. And now, you know, more obviously, like I'm. That's how hard I am on myself. You know what I mean? Like, 
um, like, I know that if other people were there, they would bring me back to, like, you know, bring me back to reality, but that was one of the things that I watched by myself the first time, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so bad in this fucking movie, oh my the worst god. fucking thing. And, uh, I would have never thought that. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, but but like, yeah, no, I know it's 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 one of the most popular ones, and you know, I've I've grown to you know, and I, I saw it later on at a premiere, and it was fine, it was fine. But gotcha. that's like a perfect example of like, I mean, dude, I was like almost in tears. That's how hard it is for me to watch this shit. Damn, I, I, I would have never thought that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, know, I, like, I guess it is a different experience, like when it's you. You know what I mean? Like I watch, you know, my shitty ass three-hour movie, and I think like, Jesus, I'm so bad, you know. Yeah. But you know, it's like, you know, other people are like, no, you're actually good. I'm like, you know, it's like, I, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Yeah, but um. Other than when you're with grandma jerking off watching. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Hey, Grandma, wait, hold on. Give me your dress at high heels. Ah, yes. <laughs> watch, watch, Grandma. I'm on TV. Look. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because we had a we had a premiere. Fucking weird family, this family. <laughs> I mean, like. Your mom's in love with you. Yeah, but my mom wanted to come, and she's like, oh, my God, I want to put makeup on and go meet him. I'm like, no, sorry, I'm already going with Malachi and, and uh, my buddy Bodhi. She goes, no, let me come with. I'll put, put makeup on and, you know, ask him out. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Uh-oh. You could have gone out with my mom. Oh, yeah, man. I'd be your daddy then, man. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Yeah. <laughs> daddy Eddie. <laughs> of course, you mentioned, you know, a little bit ago, you know, of course, when, you know, you said you like you were doing heroin. All of your fans are very proud of you that, you know, you, 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 you got you, you got off of it, you know, oh, and, you know, you. we're all really proud of you. Oh, and so, um, and, you know, that's a tough thing to do. And so, like, do you have any uh, advice for anybody out there who may be um, uh, struggling with addiction? Oh, man. Um... You know, you, you're never gonna get off. You're never gonna quit unless you really want to. And you know, I can't even consider myself, you know, free. You know, I never know. I mean, some horrible thing could happen, and I could be, you know, back to where I was. And I hope that never happens. But um, you have to really want it. You have to really, really want it. And when you do, I mean, unfortunately, you get your uh, your ass beat enough. Uh, eventually, you just can't take it anymore, and you just do it. And uh, that was kind of what, unfortunately, it was in my case. But it's possible, you know. Like I, you know, I, I go to bed and I don't drink. I don't, you know, even smoke weed. I don't do anything. And I wake up the morning and I'm, 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 I'm awake. And it's not hard. I mean, it is hard at first, but it's. Uh, I don't need something to zone myself out as much anymore, so it's cool. It's cool, man. Yeah. That, is, that is good, man. We're all yeah. proud of you. A, a mutual friend of ours. Hair sticking up or some shit. Yeah. Dude, dude, put put it down like it is in T2. <laughs> oh, yeah, so last in our last interview, you did an impression of young you. Like, golly, gee whiz, mom! And you said that you prepared for the scene by shoving your thumb up your ass. Oh, did I really? Yeah, you were like... Oh, hey, mom, it's really good to be on vacation, isn't it? <laughs> Golly gee whiz, mom! <laughs> I prepared for the whole scene by sticking my thumb up my ass. Dude. Really? <laughs> yeah. Sticking Just your so thumb up your ass? <laughs> so I was doing, I was like, Ugh. Golly gee whiz, mom! <laughs> Boy, vacation is fun! <laughs> <laughs> a mutual friend of ours, um, Wet Movie One, you know, you, you used to an interview with them recently. You're really open to like, you know, you know, YouTubers and the internet and the whole, you know, social media thing now. You even, you even like, get to talk, you got to talk to one of my YouTube friends, Alex Leva. Oh, yeah. And stuff, yeah, yeah. He, he just finished his movie and put it out there finally. He did, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What, he was saying it was like three hours or some shit? It's two hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> two hours and 40 minutes, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it's long as shit, but the thing is, I'm proud of him for doing something. Like, That's you know, great. accomplishing, accomplishing something, you know? Yeah, I should check it out. Yeah, no, that takes a lot of balls right there to, you know, actually go through with it and yeah. put it out and take some... That's some commitment. Yeah, I know. It's a YouTube movie, but I think it's, you know, it's, just, it's cool as hell to me that he does that. And cool to me that, you know, he's finally getting enough confidence to, like, you know, come out to, like, talk, talk to people like you and, yeah. you, know, you know, other actors because he was always scared to right. do that and coming to me like, you 
do it. I want to do it, but I'm kind of scared. I'm like, just ask, Aww. man. You never know, you know? He's a good kid, man. No, he's a really, really good dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mentioned me and said some kind words, man. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks, man. And, uh... Is that Brandon? Yeah, yeah, Brandon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, uh... Yeah. And, uh, you, you said you lost your movie collection. How did you lose your movie collection? Oh, it was a storage thing. Mm -hmm. So I had, um... I had gone to rehab. See, this is what drugs do. I gone to rehab one time and I left all my... I had, I had a friend who put all my storage in um, in with the sister storage, but the sister ended up leaving the storage unit and leaving my shit there, and it oh. all got fucking destroyed or oh, auctioned shit. off, man. Yeah, oh, so I man. lost, I lost everything, all my pictures, like oh, you know, fucking man. everything. So it's kind of like having something burned down. Yeah, and, that sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's okay, man. It's okay. Um, so good. Shit happens. I'm a minimalist now, you know. You should start a YouTube channel, man. I mean, like, have you ever thought about that, or, or is this something you're not really interested in? I don't know. Like, everybody's doing YouTube channels and shit now, right? Like podcasts and all that shit. Or, or a podcast, you know? Because you were on um, uh, your buddy Ethan's podcast. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe someday, man. Mm -hmm. Someday, get around to it. I'm lazy, dude. You know what I mean? So I'm like. But you know, too, man. Yeah. Feel, yeah. <laughs> these days, you know. But if I if I get around to it, you know, it'd be awesome. It's like, what would I do on my YouTube channel? Like, like a vlog or, or a game? You're a big gamer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, smoke not crack. Crack. smoke crack. No, you jerk off. You can jerk, jerk off. off. Oh, you know, shit. I could make money doing that. Only fans. <laughs> the movie viewers I just watched recently for the first time, uh, Animal Factory. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, like uh, damn good, man. Thank but um, you uh, you start alongside Willem Dafoe. He's one of my favorite actors. I love Willem Dafoe. Oh, uh, yeah. and that was before he did Spider Man, and so yeah. like you know that was like I don't want to say early in his career, but you know it's like um, he did a movie called Last Temptation of Christ. Do you yeah. ever see that movie? No, I have. That's directed by Scorsese. I haven't Let's seen that. That shit is dope. That's a yeah. good movie, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, so like, uh, what would you say? It's like, kind of like it's like pretty. I mean, it's like you know, it's not like a religious. Just been, like he gets it on with like Mary Magdalene and shit. Like, fucking, but he's so good in that movie, dude. Like he's so good, man. And I, I could not get over the fact that I was working with, uh, you know, Jesus. Yeah, in Jesus. the flesh. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Cool. Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. Did you like bow down to him before he did a scene? <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, like, what, 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 what's your memory like working with him? You have any like stories or, like, um, or anything with, with him? Also, Steve Buscemi directed that. And I think that was the only film he ever directed. No, he directed a couple other movies. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Steve. Steve's a great director, dude. Yeah, he, you should check him out. Um, I don't remember the names of all the other ones, but you know, check him out. He, all his movies are really good. Um, and Willem, man. He, you know, the whole cast on that, you know, Danny Trejo, fucking... Yeah, know, Danny, like, yeah, yeah. You know, all of them, man. They were just, uh, it was a great cast. It was fun, man. My biggest memory from that is, uh, this is, don't ever hand out your cigarettes to, because we, we had, like, you know, they had real prisoners come in and do the extra work, you know, like, you know, the behavior. And once you start giving your cigarettes out to these guys... Yeah. It's like they're they're like flat. so I was I was like I felt like I was buying cigarettes for the whole yard, man. Like on that like a bubble gum in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Swarms you, man. They're like, hey, can I have a cigarette? Can I have a cigarette? And I'm just like, yeah, sure. Hey, here, here. <laughs> Did you like know how big it was gonna be, or was it more so like gradually picked up by a cult following? Me too. I mean, this is the second one in the series, so. Dude, like unless I unless it was Terminator, which I knew was gonna be big because it was Jim Cameron and all that. I never think any of my movies are gonna be big ever. I didn't think that with History X. I didn't think that with Detroit Rock City, because most of the time. Yeah, I mean, Kiss was big, but it's like, most movies, man, don't do, it's like, the, you know, the very, very few of them, very few of them uh, end up doing, doing well, but like, um, so like even Detroit Rock City, I don't think it did very well in the theaters. It, it did well more like on v video and everything when people were watching it and shit, but, you know, and, um, you know, like things like History X, it was like a little, uh, it was like an indie movie, so I didn't, 
we didn't know, you know what I mean? Like, but it had a profound impact. But, yeah. Bodhi, Bodhi, any quick question? Yeah, um, so I saw that uh, Sarah Connor and Terminator were put into Fortnite. Do you think they could ever, you're f familiar with the game Fortnite, right? Do you think that they'll ever put John Connor in Fortnite? No. Oh. Would I get paid for that shit? Or I what? think so. I mean, I would think yeah. so. I would think so. I don't play Fortnite really, though. But I'd play it if I was in that shit. Yeah. yeah. Going all the way back to the very beginning, on that beautiful day, Pasadena, California, yeah. when you, when a lady named Mally Finn walked up to you and asked if you wanted to try out for a movie, a little movie called Terminator 2. I was at the boys club and the boys club is like a place where there's a lot of video games and places to hang out for kids and there's a casting director, her name was Mally Finn and she came over and she said, um, can I talk to you? And she goes, I would like you to try out for Terminator 2. Well, with me with my weird memory, <laughs> she writes down my name, my address and everything. Eddie, are you ready? And I go, ready for what? You're gonna try it for Terminator 2? I'm like, yeah, yeah! If that hadn't have happened, if she had not have walked up to you, this kind of deep question, where do you see your life have gone if she did not walk up to you? I can't even imagine, dude. You know, that's been my whole life. Acting became such a, became so, uh, I don't want to sound egotistical, but I, enjoyed it. It was so natural for me to, to, to enjoy it and, and to, to, to do that and um, it's sort of, uh, I, I can't imagine any other way. I feel like sometimes, you know, I don't know if I believe in destiny, but there is like certain things that happen to us that just, I don't know, I, I can't imagine it, you know, otherwise. Uh, and um, I feel grateful for that, man. I feel really grateful for that. I, I don't know. I have no fucking idea, man. I mean, obviously, um, you know, due to my sort of like rebellious nature, I guess, I don't know. It would have been really bad if I had nothing to fall back on. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, shit. I mean, I mean like, you, yeah. you, you do have talent, so I feel like you would have, like, found something else, you know? Yeah. Like, like, you know, to do, you know, that, like, you know, to use, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Eddie, it was a pleasure to see you again, man. As always, man. Yeah, thank Until you. Until the next one. Exactly, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, um, he's got an Instagram, Edward Furlong Official, as well as a cameo at, I forgot what it's called, the link, but the link to it will be in the, in the description below. Yeah, man, I'm looking pretty good, shit. Yeah. I've been trying yeah. to lose weight here, so. Oh, really? Dude, me too, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd say you're looking pretty yeah. sexy. Yeah, man, thank you. All right, babe, anyway. let's go have sex together, man. We'll do it. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, I'll see you All right, next brother. time. Take care, man. Yeah, you good. too. Cheers. Right. Cheers.